What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today we're going to be talking about one thing that I think is a big problem in One UI 5.1, and it's actually something that takes away from my enjoyment of the S23 Ultra. And then I'm gonna show you guys a concept um, that was made by a UI renderer, an artist on Twitter. He does a lot of these Samsung concepts that would aim to fix this problem with One UI 6.0. So let's jump right into it. If you look at these two S23 Ultras, I have a couple different ones. Um, I, a couple of them for testing, running different things, and, and when the beta comes out, I'll want a different S23 Ultra for the beta. But anyway, if you look at these two phones, and you look at the notification shade, you'll notice something strikingly different between the two. On the left, I have the stock Samsung theme that comes out of the box. You can see that I haven't matched the color palette to my wallpaper. And when you don't choose a color palette, it automatically themes your icons with the color that's taken from that particular app icon. So like Gmail is red, YouTube is darker red, and you get variation of color for the different icons. The Google notification is white with a little blue cloud. However, if you use the palette theming, and of course what I'm talking about is if you, when you set your wallpaper, if you go into wallpapers and style, let me do it on both of them, uh, and you go here, you'll see under color palette, I have color palette turned off on the left, but it's turned on on the right. So when you turn on the color palette option, it allows you to choose colors that are consistent with your wallpaper and then apply it throughout the UI. Now, also, if you install a Samsung theme from Theme Park, it also does the same thing. It applies a color palette to your quick settings, to your apps, uh, and also you can even apply them to your icons, although because I'm using a custom icon pack, I never choose that particular option. I don't really like the way it looks anyway, because it doesn't theme all of the apps just yet. But if you turn that on, as you can see, all of your notifications are monochromatic notifications. In this case, mine are all black and white which I personally think looks much worse than on the left. Now in One UI 5.0, previously, before the 5.1 update came out, when I had the S22 Ultra, you could use the color palette so that I could match my quick settings, you know, and you also get things like on the lock screen, if you change the color palette, you're also gonna see the colors here on the lock screen, like I've got light pink there. I like all of those colors and I like the colors in the quick settings, right? I think the quick settings look much better when you're able to customize those colors. In fact, here's my daily driver S23 Ultra where I have some even more customized notification uh, quick panel up there with other colors that I customized in Theme Park. But again, if you do that in Theme Park, you also end up with monochromatic notifications. It makes it a lot more difficult to triage notifications because you can't figure out what the heck is going on and which apps are notifying you. So this is a problem that I have with One UI 5.1. It's something I definitely don't like. And so I'm gonna show you guys a proposed solution here, which this is a designer, concept designer, that I've shown before on the channel. I really like his work. His Twitter is V3TROX360. I don't really know how it's supposed to be pronounced uh, as a word, so I'm not gonna attempt to do that. He can let me know if he indeed watches the video. He watches a lot of great Samsung content, so I'll drop his profile below if you guys wanna give him a follow. But uh, here is the concept that he proposed. He's calling it Palette Assistant, which would be integrated with GoodLock, or perhaps even with the stock One UI 6.0, which of course we know will be coming out this summer with the beta, I'll have full coverage of that, so subscribe to the channel if you're interested in new Samsung software. Um, what this allows you to do is it allows you to choose precisely where the color palette gets applied, which would allow you to avoid the issue with the notifications being monochromatic, and also give you custom color palette color setting, letting you choose a custom theme from the color wheel or perhaps even different color codes. So he proposed an icon, so this is what it would look like, perhaps if it were uh, inside of GoodLock, because you know we have camera assistant, it would make sense to have palette assistant. Some settings that he provided here, Color palette pop-up could be turned on or off when you set a new wallpaper. Custom color palette options would allow you to choose a custom primary and secondary color with presets, swatches, or the spectrum, so the color wheel, and color palette visibility. Choose precisely where the color power should be applied 
and where it shouldn't. So in particular, if you don't like monochromatic notifications, like in my case, you could avoid that entirely. Here you can see the color palette visibility where he would envision you'd be able to change this. And I think this is absolutely perfect. You'd be able to change, if you don't like the apps being colored with your color palette, you can remove that. Home screen app icons, like I don't like that. And the after icons, I don't like that either. Turn that off. Um, I like the notification, uh, the quick settings to be colored, but I don't like the notification panel icons to be um, monochromatic. So I would turn this on so that they would be colored in those. Or in the case of if you, if you want to get rid of it, you just turn that off. So it's very simple to decide what you like and then implement it. You can choose your widgets to be colored. Your edge panel is a little typo with the word edge there, but not really a big deal. Uh, and then the last one here would be, you know, swatches would be, there'd be like some preset ones, just like Samsung currently has inside the wallpaper settings menu. And then you also have the spectrum where you could choose your hex code, your red, green, blue levels, and you could also just move this around and choose the colors like you can in a lot of other Samsung apps where you can choose customized coloration uh, for your UI, like in Lockstar. So I think this is absolutely perfect. If you look over on Twitter, uh, I forgot to go in and give him a like and retweet since I'm doing this video on it. I probably should do that for the guy. Um, again, I'll drop his Twitter below. He's a good follow. He does some really cool concepts. Lots of people like this. Uh, I'm a big fan of it. Let me know what you guys think in the um, comment section below. Would you like to see this in One UI 6.0? I would say of all the things we could see in One UI 6.0 from a usability perspective, uh, these monochromatic notifications are by far the most annoying thing to me in One UI 5.1. I would love to see this get fixed, and I think this is the perfect way to do it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification icon, future videos like this. I appreciate you guys checking it out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.